welcome to another episode of Driving with John Chow. I just got done finishing the Home Business Summit here in Irvine, California at the Wyndham Hotel. And what I want to do is I want to give you my key takeaways from that event. But before I do that, I want to just state that I am filming this episode of Driving with John Chow on the new Olympus EM1 digital camera. This is Olympus top of the line, top of the line digital camera, and it's currently probably the best micro four third camera on the market today. If you're looking for a camera to elevate your video and photo skills to the next level, I highly recommend it. Uh, so far, I, I really like it. I really like it. But anyway, back on topic, the Home Business Summit happened over the weekend and had about uh, 120 people there all over the world. Some came from as far as uh, Florida, some came all the way from Canada. And the takeaway, there were several takeaways I, I got from it. And the main one is, in order to succeed in business and in life, you need a burning desire. See, a desire is just not enough. You know, there's a lot of things that are desirable. This car is desirable. A Ferrari is desirable. But what will make you go after what is it that you want? It's not just desire. You need a burning desire. You need something that is a pity just something that you need this, you want this. See, all the people at the summit had a burning desire to succeed. That is why they were at the summit. And I, I invited hundreds, thousands of people to attend. And out of that, only a few showed up because they they're the one with a burning desire. How do you get a burning desire within you, you know, so that you would go out and make it happen? Well, I would say the main requirement is that you need to be sick and tired. You need to get sick and tired of rush hour traffic. You need to get sick and tired of a boss that you hate, a job that you hate. You need to get so sick and tired that you actually do something. Hell, you need to get sick and tired of being sick and tired. Because at this moment, as hard as it may sound, as hard as it may be to leave, you are where you want to be. Now, you could say, that sounds crazy. I don't want to be in this situation. I don't want to be stuck at a job. I don't want to be stuck at a nine to five. I don't want to be stuck in rush hour traffic. But the thing is, if you truly do not want to be in that situation, then you would have done something about it. But you haven't. Why? Because you are where you want to be. You are not sick and tired, or you're not really sick and tired of your situation, at least not enough to change it. So therefore, you don't have a burning desire to change it. See, that's how, that's how people get trapped. If you never, look, 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 so I'll give you an example. Ever notice the, uh, the rate of pay is proportional to how hard or bad the job is? Let's just say, you know, uh, some people get paid once a month. That's because their job has something like status, title, that kind of stuff. Construction worker, uh, union, they, they often get paid once a week because their job is hard and they're grinding away as coal mine. You know, you don't, you don't want to be in that situation. So, but you're going, but you start on Monday, Tuesday, by the time Friday, you, I'm gonna quit, but then you get a paycheck, oh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll suffer this for another week. Same thing. But uh, most people get paid every two weeks because the reason why they pay you every week, every two weeks, or every month is because they know that they need to feed you just a little bit so you will stick around to handle more misery for another week or two weeks. And yeah, that's, that's how it is. But, and because of that, you don't generate a burning desire to want to change your situation. You're content. And when you're content, you're not growing. Yeah, and you, when you're not growing, then you don't advance and you don't, well, you don't grow, simple as that, right? So, 
you are where you want to be. If you don't, if you are not where you want to be, then I recommend you just get sick and tired of it and you get so sick and tired of it, hate it so much that you develop a burning desire inside you to want to change it. And then that is when you will, well, that's when I'll see you at a home business summit. That's basically, that, that's basically every people, every person who was there that I met had a burning desire to want to do better. Okay. And back to the, you know, what I said, you are when you're where you want to be. See, you are where you want to be right now. But we, where you want to be is not the same as where you wish to be. See, we all wish for better things. We all wish for more money. We all wish for success. We all wish to find that perfect soulmate. But there's a difference between a wish and a want. And the truth of the matter is, a wish is really nothing more than just what's in our head. If you want to make your wish come true, you need to put action into it. But most people don't. It's because they're exactly where they want to be. They're exactly where they're, they're content of where they want to be. They, have, they don't have a burning desire to be or to do better. Right? So that was the biggest takeaway I got from the Home Business Summit. Basically, uh, you know, you, have, you need a burning desire to succeed. And if you don't have a burning desire, you need to get sick because it's, it's because you're not sick and tired of your current situation because you are where you want to be. If where you want to be is not where you wish to be, then I recommend you get sick and tired of your situation, get a burning desire, and then do something about it. This is John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you for listening to my little rant. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and I will see you on the next episode.